What is creative writing? Creative writing is a unique kind of writing that consists of different styles and genres. Writers in this niche use their innovation, creative thoughts, and imagination to express the message and evoke the reader's emotions. Most writings with novelty and expression of oneself, such as novels, poetry, and narratives, mainly fall under this writing category. Creative writing does not belong in the formal academic and technical writing domain. It uses many elements in it and is not bound by standard conventions. The creative aspect of this form of writing makes it challenging, hence the need for courses to teach people how it's done. Although creative writing is separate from academic writing, some forms of academic writing extensively use it. Some of them include narrative essays, persuasive essays, and imaginative essays, we offer creative writing homework help. You can ask us to assist you if you encounter an issue in your creative writing assignment. We can write your creative essays from scratch, help you in specific sections, such as creating an introduction or conclusion, proofread, and more. Understanding creative writing, creative writing has a theme to be addressed. That defines the meaning of the work and the message to be delivered. Let's take the example of a movie here, Planet of the Apes, the original version, there is more imagination than reality here since astronauts crash in a foreign world where they meet intelligent primates. The theme here is humans reverting to their roots. The other movie versions continue even to bring apes that could talk, apart from the theme, other components that define creative writing include, writing from a specified point of view, linking or trying to connect with the reader's emotions, having a narrative structure around the story that shapes how readers will interact with your content. Use of imaginative language, inclusion of metaphors and foreshadowing, not necessary, though, dialogue, not a must, but it's used in most fiction works, most people think that creative writing should be fiction. It can also dramatize an actual event or a true story like the 2009 film Inglorious Bastards. It's about the World War II in Nazi-occupied France. The drama here is about Jewish US soldiers planning to assassinate Nazi leaders, the plan then coincides with a theater owner's vengeance plot for the same leaders. Now that you have understood creative writing, let's see what the associated homework help entails. Which creative writing challenges do students face? After getting those creative writing prompts, the next part is to get imaginative. Students, however, face challenges always, especially if they are tackling this subject or course for the first time. Here are some of the difficulties that students go through. We will also shed light on how to overcome them. 1. The writer's block. If you are an experienced writer, then you know this problem. For the newbies, writer's block is that feeling you have when it becomes difficult to write anything. It could be, you don't know what you should write, the mood is not okay today, you don't know if the right attitude will be back, it's a dangerous feeling that you have to deal with quickly. Otherwise, it can ruin many things, if only some things. You can, however, solve that by doing the following, rest, get enough sleep, and reduce any stress you have, read other materials so that your mind can consume something that will trigger productivity, engage in exercise or some physical activity. That way, blood will flow to your brain and freshen up the nervous network. It would be best if you had a nourished brain to bring back creativity, stop writing for some time if you have been doing it for too long. Go out there, have fun, and visit your friends. It's another way of freshening up, too. Lack of self-confidence, when attempting any project, the biggest challenge is yourself. And you need to overcome that. The same case applies to creative writing. As you are working on your craft, there is that tiny voice that tells you, you are not going to nail it, or the teacher will not accept your garbage. That voice is what keeps playing the self-doubt in your mind. That voice may have been triggered by a relative or friend when you tried to show them a piece of your creativity. The only way to work that out is by getting over that voice and working towards your best. Everyone has infinite potential, and it's your job to eliminate the obstacles you set for yourself. Three. Being inconsistent, practice makes perfect, and that applies to creative writing, too. Practicing is what you should do if you have yet to perfect your writing. You may have other things to do as a student, and that may prohibit you from practicing becoming a better creative writer. Some of the best writers in the world burned that midnight oil to perfect their writing art. Voltaire is one of the greatest writers. 
To become great, he spent up to 20 hours a day working on his books. Now, you may not get up to that point, but the idea here is to stay consistent, since you have other things to do, then dedicate a few hours every day to write something or read other works to inspire your mind. You could set a target of 1,000 words daily or commit two to three hours of typing every evening. To ensure that boredom does not kick in, ensure that you work on a topic you can enjoy writing. 4. You don't have any ideas, you have the creative writing prompts already, but there is no idea flowing in your head. Many students, especially first-timers, meet in this position, but it can also happen to the experienced. If you have no idea how to approach that topic, this is what you do, look at something that makes you happy. It could be that tree outside, your pet, or an object you love looking at. Eventually, you will visualize something, read a good article or blog to jog the mind. It can even be an unrelated topic. The point here is to read with an open mind and have room for ideas, research for ideas via your favorite search engine and social media. 5. Terminating the creative assignment, you have a novel, poem, or short story to write. You have given it a shot, and the draft looks okay. The problem is how to end and present it. So, how do you give your assignment a good ending? If you meet yourself in such a situation, then you can consider the following points as your remedy, have someone to read and edit your work. Hiring experts is recommendable if you want the best results, use tools such as Grammar Checker, Canvas, and more to proofread and design covers where necessary. Tips to help you work on your creative writing homework, asking for an expert's help is one of the tips you need to work on your creative writing assignment. When working on it yourself, you require other pointers to spark creativity. Now, whether you are working on a poem or a novel, here are ideas that will help shape your thoughts, find the best environment to help you think, always know the characters you are going to involve in your writing, practice writing by setting time limits, stick to the main idea no matter how many other distracting thoughts are available, read other materials to understand the different ways to gather your ideas, as you write, avoid distractions that will make that idea escape, get feedback from readers and other writers. You can also contact us for an expert's response. How do you write a creative writing assignment? The tips above will help your mind set up a creative writing mood. Now, it's time to work on the topic the teacher gave you before the deadline. For those with no idea, here are the steps you need to finish the task. 1. Get the topic. If your teacher has already given you a prompt, you already have a topic. If you must get one, think of something you will enjoy writing. If you still need a topic, check the creative writing topics for college students and those in middle school in the second last subheading. 2. Research, whether you have a fiction story to write about or creative nonfiction, research is essential. Your account must become believable to get the reader's attention. 3. Have an outline, an outline will help you arrange your thoughts and know how to approach your creative writing task. You don't have to follow it strictly, but it will assist in aligning your thoughts. 4. It's time to write, now, it's time to get your fingers and keyboard working. Using your computer is much better in this case since it's easier to write down your thoughts and then correct them later. 5. Revise and edit, once you finish the writing, it's time to revise and edit. Go through your story, correcting all the errors from spelling to punctuation. It's also advisable to ask a friend or a classmate to go through your work. 6. Submit. Once contented with everything, submit your assignment and hope for the best. Tip. Our experts use the above steps, among other strategies, to complete creative writing assignments. So, if you want to present the best work at school, our expertise is just a click away. Which online resources and tools can I utilize for creative writing assignments? There are numerous tools for those working on creative writing assignments. They range from other written materials to online writers' forums. The problem is that there is no definitive answer to this question. Why? Because someone who is writing poems may have different needs than the one working on a journal or novel. There are, however, similarities in the tools and resources that every creative writer should have, Modern-day creative writing assignments can use the following resources and tools. 1. Online materials. There are ebooks, journals, poems, short stories, and more available online. Most of them are free. 
If you don't get something useful in the free versions, you can check out platforms like Amazon or a website delivering in your area, too. Note-taking apps, most smartphones have a note-taking application. If you, however, want something that you can access online, try out something like Evernote. It allows you to share your ideas with others. Tools like Coggle and Obsidian will enable you to organize your thoughts in blocks and graphs. 3. Writing software, we are used to MS Word when writing. However, online allows us to work on multiple devices, especially on the move. You can consider options like Google Docs for writing. There are also tools like Headline Analyzer and Wix Title Generator that help in creating incredible headlines. 4. Grammar Polishing Apps like Grammarly and Hemingway will help you to proofread and edit your grammar. It would be best if you also learn it grammar styles. So, having a thesaurus and a dictionary you can access online is a rule you need to follow. You can also access or buy style guides online. The Elements of Style, written by Strunk and White, is a good example. 5. Online writing groups, it's advisable to meet writers physically. Sharing and talking about your creative writing is much easier that way. On the other hand, expanding your horizons online will give you another perspective. Check out writing forums online or join communities on social media platforms such as Reddit. How do I prepare for a creative writing exam? Getting creative writing help and engaging in writing activities can help you prepare for the examination. Also, utilizing the resources we have mentioned above will aid in sharpening your skills. You, however, need more than that to overcome the exam nightmare and the chills it brings. So, here are some tips to help you prepare for the examination day as you get rid of the fear. 1. Revise different genres. All your marks are gone if you mess up with genres in the exam. So, have a list of genres and revise them before you sit for the exam. Preparing early enough is always recommended. 2. Get past papers. Exam questions done earlier will help you know what to expect. You will also be familiar with how those questions are presented. Discussing these questions with your classmates will give you different perspectives. 3. Pack your vocabulary. As you study, you must be smart about it. So, memeize as many words as possible to improve your writing during the examination. As you do so, learn their meanings to avoid misusing them. 4. Write every day. Dedicate some time to write something every day. That is how you go about practicing. You can check some of the writing ideas we shared before this article's end. Use them to write since they will help you brainstorm. 5. Read. Get materials targeting different genres and writing forms. Next, read as much as possible. That way, you will get other ideas, enhance your vocabulary, and learn amusing figures of speech. Why are creative writing skills important? Are creative writing skills necessary? Yes, they are because of the following reasons. 1. Improving your communication skills. Creative writing will help you hammer your writing skills. You will perfect grammar, punctuation, and how to formulate a style guide. You will also become a better communicator because there will be no problem when expressing your thoughts. 2. Building your confidence, practicing your creative writing skills will help you get the right certainty in your writing capability. You will discover what makes you a good writer and the voice to use as you write, among other vital aspects in this field. 3. Career opportunities, gaining this skill allows you to work in various companies or contribute to multiple tasks. You can be the next prominent writer in Huffington Post or assist in developing marketing and website content as a freelancer. It is also one of the skills required in places like Hollywood. Check out some of the career opportunities in the next section. 4. Personal creative expression. Being a creative writer also means that you can shape your thoughts and perspectives creatively. It is also a way to polish up your speaking skills. 5. Emotional therapy. There are people in this world who love reading and watching. If you are not processing your emotions through your writing, your skill could be helping somebody else out there going through a difficult time. What can I do with my creative writing certificate? You have many career options, from being a fiction writer to one of Hollywood's most prominent writers. There are more than 1.46 million writers in the workforce, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. 
Every year, more than 6,000 graduates join those in the force, so, there is something for you once you earn that degree, among other certificates. Here are a few areas where creative writing applies in the real world. 1. Speech writing. Your president, king, governor, or mayor requires a proficient speech writer. So, if you end up in the government corridors, what you write may touch people one day. Inspirations include, I Have a Dream, by Martin Luther King Jr. 2. Scriptwriter. Those Hollywood movies or those you see on Netflix utilize a creative writer's brain. So, if the theater intrigues you, you can end up in one of them, if not television stations. 3. Fiction writing. You can also write short stories, novels, or science fiction content. There are many approaches here if you decide to go this route. 4. Essayist. Here, you will not engage in fiction but use your creativity to write a manifesto or some criticism. Essayists mostly end up in media houses, those are some of the areas where your creative writing knowledge can apply. There is more to that, significantly, as the writing realm expands. What are the common forms of creative writing? Creative writing deals with a wide array of writing since it is innovative and experimental. This section will list some typical examples of creative writing forms to help you make sense of this type of writing. The examples are personal essays, it is creative nonfiction that has an autobiographical aspect. Also, it has a conversational manner and some sense of intimacy. Students mostly come across personal essays. So, if you are one of them requiring this form of creative writing help, you can place an order with us. We offer creative writing homework help at an affordable rate, play, it is a script that actors use when performing on a stage. Poem, this is a piece of writing that greatly depends on symbolism and metaphor to deliver the message. Common poem forms are songs, haiku, limericks, and sonnets, letters, pieces of paper written to convey information to another person, diaries, these are personal recordings of one's feelings and thoughts. They are also referred to as journals, memoir, discusses a particular point in time in one's life. It is like an autobiography, though it describes a specific part, not an individual's life. They also show the writer's emotional insights and the reflected opinions, novel, it is a fictional narrative that is as big as a book. Novels have diverse genres and subgenres, short story, it is a short novel and entirely fictional. Novella, it is somehow between a short story and a novel. So, you can view it as a long short story or a short novel, flash fiction, it is short fiction that can be read in one sitting as it mainly contains less than 1,000 words, columns, they are newspaper articles that allow the inclusion of the author's personal opinion and some aspects of creativity. They differ from journal articles in that columns can be fictitious, while journalism articles are factual and thus, non-fictitious. Blog. This is an online personal essay intended for a specific audience, though it does not involve high creativity like the other creative writing forms. Creative writing topic examples. For those of us who need creative writing topics, here are a few examples for you. We will not give you a topic directly since that will constrain your thinking. Instead, we will present ideas that will help you create a story and choose your heading for it. Creative writing ideas for middle school. You can use the following topic ideas for your creative writing assignments for middle school. 1. Which is your favorite place on earth? Write an essay about that place. 2. If you had a portal gun, which planet would you like to visit and why? 3. Which is your favorite book? Pick one character from the book and write a short story from their perspective. 4. Which is the scariest animal in your view? Write a poem about what you could do if you met it. 5. Write about the following, if I was an astronaut for one day, this is what I would do. Creative writing topics for college students. 1. Think about your, your favorite song. Pick the best line in that song and write about a character feeling the emotion expressed by that line. 2. You are at an event, and you listen to people arguing. Write a dialogue to reflect on that argument and show the reader that what they are arguing about is not what they are upset about. 3. Pick an object, such as a broom, a picture on the wall, or a chair. Write about a scary scene that will make the reader emotional when seeing that object. 4. What do you fear most in your life? 
Write about a character who has to face that fear. 5. A husband and wife are arguing about one of them having a physical ailment, and one of the partners does not believe it. Write down the conversation. Tip. Contact us today for more topic tips and answers to questions about creative writing assignment help. Our guru's creativity is immeasurable and you can get it at modest prices.